everyone it is s uh, what day is it it is saturday october 21st 2017 and it's time to go to work on music uh it's been a great day i'm in a really good place and excited for a productive session i am doing extremely well with my conquering my timing demons kind of had a big slip yesterday i mean it wasn't a music day so it wasn't the end of the world but i've just realized like I really want to stay on top of that just every single day. Every single day, moment by moment, I want to build great habits until it becomes automatic. And I think the thing that's most important with that is just once you get off track, just getting right back on track as quickly as possible. And then when you get off track, the thing that's been helping me recently is going back and analyzing, okay, where in my routine am I falling off? Like I thought I had a good plan, where are things slipping and, and what can I do to fix that? So um, just self-analysis, you know, same thing you do as a player or as an artist, you know, listening back to things, um, looking at things and saying, okay, what needs to change? How am I going to change it, alter it to make you get it from point A to point B? So think of the same thing time management wise and so far so good. Um, going to hit some online classes here. I'm excited to get back in the groove today, start a new uh, music week. And then I'm going to hit a quick guitar practice, update you guys with what I'm doing there, and then jump into the production front and just listen back to some of the vocal takes I did a couple days ago, make sure everything's sitting okay-ish in the mix so that I can bounce something down and uh, start getting some drum sounds. So I'll update you guys at the end with what I accomplished. Appreciate you guys for tuning in as always. Let me know if you have any thoughts or questions. And uh, see you guys in a moment. All right, really, really good session today. Uh, the biggest victory today was just getting on time to the session and knocking things out. And like I said a few videos ago, just so much is possible when you can just create the time to focus and get in the zone and do what you take the next steps toward your vision. And if you can do that on a regular basis, when that becomes a habit, honestly, I think that is really what success is made of. It's just those small contributions, those incremental movements toward the goal on a day-in, day-out basis, a, a consistent basis, but, uh, but yeah, I'm not, it's not like I came up with that, I just, just relaying that, but got on the online class front and hit some, uh, some classes, just doing um, tr a training on something called the Facebook Pixel, which is essentially a, a, a bit of code that you can put on different websites that will um, track different users to pay, uh, depending on their their actions on the page. So if you've heard of cookies before, something like that, basically this is this is how like when you go, let's say you go to uh, a company's website or something and then you're on a different website and you see a Google ad for that company whose website you were just on previously. That's like a similar technology. So. I uh, think like you go to Nike to buy some shorts, but you leave them in your cart and you don't go back to make the purchase. And then, you know, two days later, you open up your email or you go online to search something for Google and you see an ad for the stuff that you put in your cart. You know, that's that's how they really get specific in terms of following you across the web. So it's a little weird, <laughs> honestly. It's, it's a little bit weird, but uh, it's interesting. It's super, super interesting, and I, I like understanding the technology behind it. I'm not sure how far I'm going to go with that personally, um, but it's something to think about. And just like you know, a music technique or um, a bit of knowledge or something, it's like just because you have it doesn't mean you need to utilize it. You know? And sometimes knowing it helps you make better decisions about what you do and don't utilize and when. So 
it's really important for me to have my business values harmonize with my artistic values. So there may be a limit <laughs> to to my retargeting campaigns. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. I'm not, not going to commit to anything right now. But um, From there, I, I uh, got into a quick guitar practice. I really didn't do a whole lot there, just kind of review, you know, and moving, a, moving just forward just a tiny, tiny bit. On the riffs I'm working on in Drop D right now, and then I uh, did some reading, took a break, and then just hit the production front hard and listened back to some vocal takes I did. Thank goodness the uh, the final take I did two days ago is actually very, very good, and significantly better than the one that I did right before that that I also thought was good. I mean, it's good, but it's... I, I use the term good flexibly, like not always in terms of quality, mostly in terms of quality, but then sometimes in terms of just how it fits the track. So I had a really good take, the previous take, but it didn't really fit the vibe of the song of what I wanted. So I'm happy I did that final one because it's just a little grittier, a little more raw, and I think it just really seals the deal on the track like perfectly. So happy with that. And then I just got into some pretty intense um, editing of segments of the song like there was t uh, a gap between the end of the first chorus and the start of the second verse that I wanted but it was just too long and it had been like w you know one or two measures too long for like a few months <laughs> so finally got that edited edited together and then there's this bit at the end of the song this little vocal add-on thing that I did in sort of the, the coda the end part of the song um, so I was moving that around to be where exactly where I wanted it to be and uh, just making sure I got all that stuff right and then there was this horn rhythm part at the beginning of the track that felt really off to me for the last couple weeks so I finally fixed that basically just getting all the rhythmic elements of the track as dialed in as possible so that when I start tracking the drums I've got everything like I don't, I don't want to be moving things around too much after the drums are tracked because the whole purpose of me doing drums later is so that I can use the drums to glue everything together, which has kind of been my approach, um, which I know is very different than what a lot of people do, and maybe I'll experiment with doing that differently in the future, but this has just been the way that I've done it up till now, and it's, it's, I've had really good results with it personally so far, as far as what I like to do, so. Um, just as a drummer, I think it's easier for me to make things fit together if there's already like certain elements present in the track, and then I can scaffold things on top of that if I need to. Um, so yeah, um, that's that was pretty much the session right there. I just backed everything up, and then now I'm moving on. So I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys are out there grinding towards your goals, enjoying the process. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for more. Till then.